Number 17, cotangent max. You guys remember how we did this yesterday? Oh boy. Actually, before I do that, let's uh, let's do the uh, okay. Sine and the reciprocal function is cosecant. All right. Where are sine and cosecant positive? And then cosine. Let's just get rid of you. Cosine and the reciprocal function is. Again, why are they positive? So uh, that means, let me clarify a little bit. If you have like cosine of x equals one third, the angle x is going to be either in the, because it's a positive one third, it's either going to be in the first or the fourth quadrant. Okay, that's, that's what we're talking about. So if cosine equals something positive, the angle that goes into it is going to be over here somewhere. All right, and then tangent and cotangent, where are they about that? First and third. Yeah. Okay, so on number 17, it says cotangent of x equals 6. So since it's a reciprocal function, we need to kind of flip it. So tangent of x, that's this flipped, and 6 flipped is 1, 6. I got point seventeen. So then we plug in tangent inverse of 1, 6. Okay, because this is cotangent equaling a positive, that means my two answers are going to be in the first and the fourth quadrant. Uh, well, the calculator is only going to give me one answer, right? And in this case, it'll be the first quadrant angle. Um, yeah, and make sure you calculate your calculator in radians when you're doing this section. Not what did you get, Sam? Uh, point 0.17. 17. Oh, 17. Okay, so... Uh, Remember that pi over here is about 3.14, and 2 pi is about twice that, 6.28. So to find the third quadrant angle, we need to use, yeah, let me erase that. 0.17 is somewhere over here. Uh, Okay, point 0.17 is basically our reference angle. It tells us all the angles that are like point 0.17 away from this line are going to have the same ratio. The only difference is down here it'll be negative, up here it's positive. So all these angles that are point 0.17 off of that line are going to have the same ratio. Um, so, but they're only going to be positive here and here, on tangent. So we need the third quadrant angle that has 0.17 as a reference angle. So we're going to do 3.14 plus 0.17, which is 3.31. So, I don't know if that made much sense, Katie, but all these have... We're going to have two answers, unless there's like a 90 degree answer, I don't think there is, though. No, I don't see any. I did, no, I did not record, I did try to record yesterday and failed. I checked for it. I told you the computer died, what do you think is going to happen? He was hopeful, I still checked. <laughs> Hoping for a miracle? Yeah. Are you ready for a miracle? Okay. Uh, 
so if we had a bunch of junk going on, we kind of need to simplify it, get cosine of x by itself. Track two. Yeah, cosine of x, you kind of treat it like a variable, just like it's an x. So divide by nine, although these two are kind of linked, linked at this thing. So divide by nine, you get six ninths, or you don't really have to reduce it, but it does reduce to two thirds. You don't have to reduce it because it's not the answer. X, whatever X is going to be the answer. Oh, two thirds? Oops. Okay, so cosine equals something positive. What does that tell us? We are going to need a first and fourth quadrant angle. Uh, anyways, so when we plug in cosine inverse of two thirds, Uh, that should give us a first quadrant angle. What does that come out to? I got point eighty-four. Yeah, point eighty-four. So that would be our first quadrant. Now, what's the equivalent fourth quadrant angle? So remember, this is like six point two eight here. So it's going to be point eighty-four short of six point two eight. So we're going to do 6.28 minus 0.84 of uh, 5.844. Uh, I should probably back up a little bit. Um, yesterday, this is like number one. Um, If you have sine or tangent equals something negative, I'll just make something up. Sine or tangent equals something negative. Um, what your calculator is going to do is give you like a negative angle. Like x equals negative, I don't know what it would be, but pretend it's like negative 50 degrees or something. Okay. Well, that is a right answer. The book is asking for angles between 0 and 360. So it can't be a negative angle. So the equivalent fourth quadrant, negative 50 is right here, right? Somewhere in the fourth quadrant. So the equivalent fourth quadrant angle that's positive, remember how we like found the uh, Coterminal angles is what they called it last chapter, or maybe two chapters ago, I can't remember. Uh, you just add 360, or you can think of it as doing 360 minus 50. And yeah, that would be a 310 degree angle. So you can't use the negative 50. 50 degrees is how far it is from the x-axis though, so that's like the reference angle. So tangent is also n negative in the second quadrant, so you need an angle that's 50 degrees from 180. So you do 180 minus 50, and that would be like 130. Okay, and a similar thing happens with tangent and sine. Did I, oh, I was pretending this is sine, wasn't I? I forgot. Okay, if it's sine, it would be a third quadrant angle. You do 180 plus 50. If it was tangent, you do a second quadrant angle, 180 minus 50. So anyway, when sine is negative or tangent is negative, they're going to give you a <clears throat> negative angle, but you got to kind of convert it to a positive angle. And that negative angle is also going to be your reference angle, how far it is from 180 or 360. Um, okay, when cosine equals something negative, uh, whatever two-thirds, whatever it is, uh, it's going to give you a positive angle, it'll give you a second quadrant angle, which is one of the answers. So let's say it's like 120. Uh, that would be one of the answers. The other cosine is also negative in the third quadrant, so it'll be down here somewhere. So what you got to do is kind of find the 
reference angle first. Like how far is this from 180? So you do 180 minus 120 is 60. And then you use that reference angle to help you find the third quadrant angle, 180 plus 60, would be from there to there, 240. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. I, I'm kind of, we're relying on some old information that we hopefully have in our brains, but 21, 3 cotangent x over 4. Plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so how do I get cotangent by itself? It's kind of like 3x over 4 plus 1 equals 0. You just got to solve for x. So subtract 1. You could multiply by 4 and divide by 3, but you can also just divide by 3 fourths. It's the same thing. 3x over 4 is the same thing as 3 fourths times x. Because x is like x over 1, so it can go on top. Anyway, these two are the same thing. A lot of extra there. So subtract 1. So I could think of this as 3 fourths cotangent of x. <coughs> divide by 3 fourths. When you divide a fraction, you flip and multiply. So if I multiply that by 4 thirds, it's going to be negative 4 thirds. Cotangent is a reciprocal function, so if I flip it, it becomes tangent. And then if I flip this, it becomes negative three-fourths. So tangent inverse of negative three-fourths. Two 2.5? 2.50. The reason they would put 2.50 instead of 2.5 is that they're showing they're being accurate to the second place. Mm, I got oh, wait, wait, that's not right. I got negative 0.64. Yeah, it should be negative. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I know what I did. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um... Okay, so they gave us a ne negative angle, negative 0.64. That's somewhere in the fourth quadrant. Okay, to find the positive version of that angle, we're going to do uh, 6.28. We're going to do 6.28 minus 0.64. So that's the fourth quadrant version. Where else is tangent equal to something negative? Third quadrant, so or second quadrant. So we're going to need a second quadrant version of that. So the second quadrant angle should have the same gap, the same reference angle. But this one is off of 3.14. So it's going backwards from 3.14. So we're doing 3.14 minus 0.64. 2.5, 2.50. That's what I was looking at earlier. Anyway, so those are the two. <sighs> Leo, did you try this last night or did you? Yeah, I got 16. Okay. Was it rough going? Yeah. Sorry. Damn yelling. Yeah. We have no <laughs> 3.14 minus 0.64. Same reference angle, 
Okay. Oh, jeez. Can I just not do this? Yeah. I don't think it's enough to teach. Not worth it, probably, to teach a whole different thing to do those last three. Okay. 